So, to get onto this one, hold onto the handrail, put one foot up on the pedals at a time, and then just ease into your walking motion, and stay here for a number of minutes until you get that heart rate going on the legs warmed up. Thinking about standing nice and tall and your core tight to maintain that balance. And when you're done, slow the pedals down, still holding on to the rail, and step off one foot at a time. Pull-up bracket or chin-up bar. You can do the traditional chin-up or I prefer to use your leg momentum to jump up and then relax down. Jumping and control your downward swing and you have your chin up. Moving on now to your push chair, opposite motion from the last one, having a seat, sitting nice tall, shoulders back, core engaged, hands take the handlebars and again you're going to lift your own weight, but you're going to push up and return down, keeping an even pace, two counts up, two counts return. Good, and when you're done, release those handles and come up off the chair. Next, moving to our exercising bars with lots of options. Best one, stepping your feet in and leaning your weight back. You're going to roll your body up towards the bars and recline. To make it a little bit more difficult, you can just step closer to the bars and then increasing the angle that you have to pull your body up and relax down. Coming back up to standing, you can also do your incline push-up. Reversing that, standing in the machine, coming down and pushing up. Again, the closer your feet are to the unit itself, increasing the angle, the harder the push-up. Or you can be more upright into the easy push-up. These bars can also be used for your tricep dip, stepping up onto the unit itself, and then dipping down and pushing up. Using your legs for as much assistance as you need to get upright and then come on down. Bars are also excellent for a stretch, just leaning back, relaxing the hips, back, neck, and feeling that stretch up through the back and out through the shoulders and arms. It's amazing. Move over to another piece of cardio equipment, the walking machine. Making sure you hold on to the stationary bars as you step one foot on at a time. Once you have your balance there, core engaged standing tall, hands on those handlebars, and then alternating the foot swing into that walking motion, very typical of the elliptical machines you'll see at the gym. When you're done, slow the pedals, hands on the stationary bar, step off one foot at a time. And we'll move now to the leg stretcher, working through leg strength. Come and have a seat here, feet come up on the footrest, sitting nice tall, shoulders back with the core engaged, and just pushing, lifting your own body weight and returning. Keeping a slight bend in those knees, never locking the knees at the top, and return. Nice easy pace, two count up, and two count return. When you're done, release the feet from the foot pedals, stand up, and you're off the machine. One more cardio set with the bike. Come and one foot on either pedal, sitting on the seat, making sure that your feet are securely on those pedals and aren't going to slip off, sitting nice and tall, again the core engaged, and you can just alternate your pedal forward, and stay here for a few minutes, but don't forget that as well as pedaling forward, you can pedal backwards, changing how those leg muscles are having to work and the core to keep your balance. And you can change it up, forward, backwards. And when you're done, slow the pedal motion and step off from the bike. This unit over here.
here the arm wheel, excellent for stretching. If you hold on to both handles, standing with your feet hip distance apart, so you've just got good balance, and we're gonna rotate the big wheel over as far as you can till you start getting that stretch down the back side of the shoulders. Staying there, taking some nice deep breaths, relaxing into the stretch. And slowly rotating back the other way. Keep going again till you feel the stretch down the back side of the shoulder. And hold once again. And relax. And rotate back. And you can take your hands off the handlebars. This one can also be used if you hold on low. Lean back and get, getting that full body stretch up the hips, back, shoulders, arms. And come on up. Over to the other side of our arm wheel, we have the dual wheels where you can grab each handle. This one you have many options. You can rotate both in towards each other, both out towards each other. Or they can both rotate to the left, both rotate to the right. Getting the blood flow through that upper body, getting the motion through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, everything working together. And you can stay here for a few minutes till you get that blood flowing, just like a cardio workout for the upper body.